hello my lovely soulmates and welcome back to the channel it's your girl ellie soul and today guys we have a lot to cover so i am gonna try to make this video less than 40 minutes because i'm also tired of editing and posting such long videos i'm gonna try to get straight to the point and keep it short but we have a lot to cover so i know one of the main questions is Ellie, where have you been? And why did you leave us? And why have you not been consistent? Um, and this is going to be a very honest video. Um, I think I'm gonna put a lot on the table. Let's get into first, where have I been? So I took some time off of social media. I deactivated almost all of my accounts. Um, and I took some time away from YouTube because I needed it for the space that I was at. I think I was in a very vulnerable space. I was in my process of healing. And um, at that very point in time, I think everyone else's voices were louder in my head than my own. And that's where I was struggling because there were so many speculations and so many opinions and so much happening um, on all these social media sites and so many different interpretations of me and what I had experienced. And I felt like it was making me question myself. It was making me question my reality. And so in order for me to truly dive deep into self and dive deep into my healing i kind of needed to just block out all those voices and listen to the voice that matters most in the situation so i think it was it was a lot going on um again i feel like i was vulnerable and i felt like i was just constantly being triggered because I'm focusing on something and I have all this weight of everyone's voices around me. So I needed to just cancel everything out and focus on myself. And it's been absolutely like amazing. I almost do not want to leave this space, but I know that it's healthy for me to leave this space. And I think that I am ready to leave this space and I'm also ready to share with you guys some of what I've learned about myself along the way that I feel like will help a lot of my soulmates because obviously this is not a one person journey. I think everyone is somehow, some way in their own self healing journey. And you might not have walked the path that I walked, but hopefully you can learn something from me, whether to avoid or you can take a lesson that I've learned so you don't have to go through that. Or maybe you could apply it to your situation. Even though it might not be the same thing, it will still be helpful and still apply to you. So with that being said, um, first of all, let's just celebrate. Let's take a second, a moment to celebrate this month. Um, this month is just going to be full of everything women related. I am going to be celebrating women all throughout this month and elevating a lot of women, not only in my life, but women in business, women in powerful positions, women that started from the bottom. I have so much planned for you guys. I'm excited. Um, but I think first I want to kick this month off with myself. Um, kind of essentially throwing myself under the bus but just having a real honest moment with my soulmates so with that being said ellie let's get to it um today's topic is going to be my toxic traits <laughs> um i am not excited about sharing obviously my toxic traits and i don't think i'm gonna share all of them with you guys but i am gonna share a couple of them with you guys um and the reason why i'm sharing my toxic traits is because throughout this journey of self-healing 
um obviously i told you guys it was very important throughout your process of healing for you to look within and kind of just look at your reality and what parts you play in your own madness because um it is not always someone else actually it's never just someone else we all kind of play a part in our own misery our own traumas um and i just want to make it very clear that even though and even if you played a part in your trauma it does not mean that you deserved what happened to you it does not mean that you deserve the trauma or whatever it is that you endured so i do want to be very straightforward and just say that because i don't want to um undermine anyone's experience or i don't want to minimize it in any kind of way um what you experience is real but you have to look within yourself because that's the only thing you can control and sometimes our own toxic habits and behaviors and preferences and all these things kind of contribute to our trauma without us even realizing it or meaning to um so it's important for you to recognize that within yourself so that you don't have to keep repeating these experiences okay so oh my god first of all you guys look at how cute this journal is that my sister got for me like it's absolutely adorable i love it okay sorry maddie thank you i absolutely adore you girl you just know me you just get me like it's the little things that get silly <laughs> okay so let's get into my toxic traits <sighs> you guys i'm so nervous about this because this is the first time i think i'm just saying it out loud because i've just been like in my own space in my own circle in my own head so you guys get to come into my head for one second and it's definitely scary okay um let's see which one should i say first um okay i'll just i'm not gonna pick i'm just gonna go from the first one and just go from there okay so the very first one is i am an empath who lacks self boundaries Ta -da! that is one of my very toxic traits and if you're listening to this and you're an empath too um it's something that you definitely want to be aware of because it could definitely be playing a role in your heartbreaks and in your disappointing relationships and i'm not speaking like just romantic i'm talking this applies to like work and family and every aspect of your life right um so narcissistic people usually prey on empaths and the reason why is because it's a double-sided coin and there isn't one without the other that's why it's toxic because if you're an empath odds are you are attracted or you attract narcissists okay if you're an empath um you probably come from narcissistic family members you attract narcissistic partners narcissistic friendships it's very easy for you to end up in these dynamics because there's something within them that feeds the empath in you okay that need to kind of feel sorry for them and um feel like you could save them that right there is what fills you which is not a good thing okay because you always are gonna find yourself i'm telling you if you do not address this within you you're always gonna find yourself in these dynamics and wondering why and it's because you choose these people and you choose them because there's something that's not quite right within you if that makes sense so that's something that i learned about myself um another one is <clears throat> one of my toxic traits 
<laughs> the idea that being a good person um, or believing that I'm a good person when it's really just people pleasing. Ugh, that one makes my skin crawl, you guys. Um, I think I learned like early on in my childhood, um, I kind of created this illusion, right? Or delusion that if I was a good girl, if I was a good person, if I said yes all the time to everything and did not disappoint the people around me, and if I did all the right things, did everything they wanted me to do, um, cater to them and accept them and, and love them, then they would not hurt me or they would not abandon me. It's a twisted mentality where it's like, if I'm good to you, then there's just no way that you can be bad to me. It's like a false way of having control over situations. It's actually like almost manipulative. It might not be maliciously manipulative, but it's a form of manipulation um, because you're trying to manipulate and control the situation right if i'm good to you if i'm this to you if i do that for you if i just say yes 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 and all these things then there's just no way that you can abandon me and there's no way that you can hurt me which again is absolutely delusional because you can do all the right things and some people are still going to hurt you and they're still going to disappoint you and they're still going to abandon you and leave you you cannot control that and that's something i think i struggled with and when i was so good to someone and they were not good to me i take it so personal like i literally want to like end you type personal um because it's just like how dare you like i went against myself, I denied myself, I disrespected myself, I did all these things to myself for you and you still went and did these things. But you don't understand that they probably did those things because you lacked self-respect, self-love, self-worth, all you lacked boundaries. You didn't stand up for yourself, you let them walk all over you. Your need to people please actually just taught them how to disrespect you. And so they went ahead and did exactly what you were trying to control them not doing, if that makes sense. Whew. Go ahead and pause there. I might just do three because we'll be here till tomorrow. <laughs> I just did two and we're already very far ahead. So I'll do one more um, and then we'll, we'll have a conversation. Um, another one of my toxic traits is I am not the bigger person. I get even and I try to prove a point. So I would love to believe that I am so graceful and that I take the higher road and that I'm a bigger person in every and all situations. But the honest truth is I have not been the bigger person in no situation. A part of me wants to be that girl. Like I want to leave it in God's hands so bad. I truly in my heart want to. And I want to like leave it to the universe. But the ego in me will not allow me to. Like I will literally be like, okay, I, I'm gonna leave it in God's hands when I'm gonna get to you first type thing like I'm very much a match energy type of girl I'm very much you did it to me I'm gonna do it to you and even more so like I'm gonna do what you did and I'm gonna push it even further just to prove a point to you um <laughs> and I'm laughing but it's really not funny um it's terrible it's a really bad trait that I have um I just I feel the need to like get back 
like get you back for what you did. And there's been times where I do it and the person doesn't even know that I'm doing it to them as well. Because here's the thing, like I, it's very hard for anyone to hide anything from me. Like I've always found out everything. And the minute I find out, it's like a switch that goes off of me and I start to get back immediately. It's just the other person does not know that I'm getting my legs back. And I don't stop. That's the crazy part. That's the like worst part about me is I don't stop getting my leg back until I get to the center of that Tootsie Pop is <laughs> pretty much what it's given. Like I'm ruthless and um, there is no no limit to how far I'll go to prove a point. So that's something that's very toxic about me and how I justify it in my head is like, well, you should have never did that. In my head, it's like, I was good to you. And since you did that to me, now I'm gonna have to show you and teach you how that feels. And I'm gonna do that and even more. Yeah. So it's something that I am aware of now. <laughs> and maybe have always been aware of it, but did not see it as like toxicity. And I think being in this space of like self-assessment, just purging, just really looking in the mirror and seeing the parts of me that contributed to where I'm at and the parts of me that I don't want to carry with me moving forward, I had to really be honest about like, girl, like, you know, this ain't right or you're going to have to fix this or change that or you're going to have to at least acknowledge it and be aware of it. So when you go to that space, you're like conscious and you're aware and you're like, okay, I now I'm aware that I'm going to the space. Maybe you're able to catch yourself before you actually dive deep into um, the actual act or whatever it may be. Yeah, so um, I wrote a couple of notes that I am gonna share with you guys, but I do wanna say that going down this road of looking within yourself it's very easy for you to go into a space of like self-loathing, of feeling less than, feeling low, feeling bad about yourself. Um, but it's very important for you to remember that you are not in the Bible. You're a human being and no human being is perfect. It doesn't matter how good of a person you are or you think you are and good people still make mistakes and they still make bad decisions and it does not make them a bad person it makes them human and so um while you're doing this like self-reflection and just make sure that you have a little grace with yourself the same way you have for everyone else now i did write some notes that i do want to share with you guys um I'm just gonna read like what I have in my notes because I feel like it's so good. And um, I feel like you guys could take a lot from this. So if you're listening, um, I want you to also do a list of your toxic traits and really take time to do this work. And the reason why I'm recommending it is because a lot of you guys ask me like, you know, to take you on my healing journey with me and if I can give anything to you guys, it would be this piece right here. And you have to not just go to the last situation that hurt you. You need to go back to like when you were a kid, when did these habits start? What like what created them? Um, when did you start to notice them? What hurt you? All these things in order for you to be able to properly kind of point out these things within yourself and once you can that's where the healing really starts it's when you're able to look at yourself for exactly who you are you understand why you are that way 
and why you ended up in the situations you ended up in and you stop feeling sorry for yourself and you stop being a victim of everything okay so i'm gonna read to you guys so listen closely okay i was watching a podcast with nate cotman and he said the deception of perfection causes us to be proud and pious now pious means making like a hypocritical display of virtue okay that's when we think we're like so above like oh she did that or like oh, he's like that it's that moment right there okay and causes us to be unable to relate to the weaknesses of others failure is a humbling experience if you allow it to be god allows you to walk through darkness so that you can understand how beautiful light is so that you can drop your judgment of others and the thought that you're above the mess he knows how to bring you to your knees and humble you not to discourage you but to elevate you to elevate your consciousness so that you can touch and heal others in the same way that he touches and heals us all so first we must be open and honest do not fall into the delusion that you are perfect and above any and everything or anyone okay do not go to that space where you feel like you are above other people you're above other people's experiences do not do it because that was me and then god humbled me thank god okay um there is no growth in that space no prosperity in that space only ego okay when you're speaking from a space of i would never let da -da 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 happen to me i would never end up in this situation or when you speak from that space of ego there truly is no growth there you're just displaying that there's no growth because you're not able to relate or even forget about relate understand another human's experience okay so you not only need to humble yourself before god but humble yourself before everyone you know and meet now this has to apply to like your parents to your siblings to your friends to your partners you have to be able to humble yourself before the people in your life do not look at your parents with judgment for their choices and do not look at the people around you as well with judgment for the walk of life that god put them on because you think you're somehow above it or better than it you're doing yourself a disservice if that's how you're going through life okay okay self-assessment is so important because how can you understand forgive and accept others when you can't even do it for yourself okay i want to repeat that how can you extend right forgiveness understanding accepting of other people when you can't do it with you if you can't accept and understand and forgive yourself you can't do it to others so, so that's why sometimes i'm i try to talk to you guys about be very careful about your self-righteous speeches or even if you're living a self-righteous life if you're looking down on others or judging others um or you're speaking in a judgmental tone of other people be very careful when you do that because a lot of it often is a mirror of yourself what you see in others is often it's mirroring you so you're able to to forgive others and understand others and accept others if you're able to understand accept and forgive yourself it's a mirror effect so if you're behaving a way towards a certain person most likely that's how you're behaving to yourself so if that's you and you're listening that means you just need some work okay so 
if you expect perfection from yourself, then you'll expect it from everyone in your life as well. So if you're the type of person that you take pride in being hard on yourself, odds are you're probably being hard on everyone else around you as well. And no one is perfect. Okay? You should not expect perfection from yourself the same way you should not expect it from others because it's truly going to lead to unhappiness. You're going to be unhappy with you and you're going to be unhappy with those in your life as well. Okay? Um, so I want you guys to learn yourself. I want you to be honest with yourself. I want you to understand yourself. I want you to love yourself. I want you to forgive yourself. I want you to accept yourself and I want you to humble yourself. Now, these things are not easy to do. And it is not a switch that you can do. It's not a one day thing. It's not like, oh, that's it. I love myself. I accept myself. No, this is continuous everyday work, self awareness. That's the only thing that's going to lead to these things. And again, be graceful. It's okay if today you don't love yourself. I don't love myself. This very minute today, I do not love myself, <laughs> okay? Um, I have a lot of work to do on self, um, but I can acknowledge that and I can accept it. And I know I'm working towards it. And so that's step one, acknowledge and accept, and you can start putting in the work. But if you are living through delusion and you're like, I love myself, and it's just like, something you're saying but it's not reflecting in your life it's not reflecting in your relationships then it's just a it's just a saying you're just saying it but it doesn't actually it's not real do you know what i mean um because when you when these things are present you have boundaries with everyone in your life you don't accept certain things that maybe you are accepting in your life so um let's pay attention to those i have two more things that i wrote and then we're gonna wrap this up so trauma will make you tolerate a lot of sh you don't deserve but healing right healing makes you realize that some people just do not deserve to be in your life no matter how much you love them. And when you come to this realization, when you come into this space, um, then you're no longer afraid to lose people. You're no longer scared to lose people. And lastly, you will be mistaken and judged by those who have not done the work. So do not take it personal when people are judging you and when people are misunderstanding you and they're, they have you all mistaken. It's okay. If that's the case and that is just someone that has not done the work on self, you cannot take that personal or personalize that. Okay. You'll be misunderstood and underestimated, but please do not ever stop believing that you are nothing short of perfect okay god makes no mistakes and you are everything that he created you to be which is human not god again i want to remind you that you are not in the bible you go look through it and see if you can find your name you will not be there do not expect perfection out of you you're a human being you deserve to be understood. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be accepted. But all these things start with self. And so if you're struggling in your relationships, and again, I'm not just speaking uh, romantic relationships. I'm speaking if you're struggling with your relationship with your child, if you're struggling with your relationship with your parent, if you're struggling with friendships, um, this is a good moment for you to look with self because it starts with you, okay? That's the message I had for you guys today. Uh, thank you if you stayed this long. And if you learned something, um, let's continue the conversation in the comments down below. 
let me know maybe what your toxic traits are and we could keep this trend going where we're kind of just being honest being human and learning from each other i think that that's the most important thing um being able to learn from your mistakes and then pass that on to those around you it's a beautiful thing um do not let what hurt you kind of uh keep you in the same space there's a lot to be learned there and um go back go back to the very beginning because it did not start today or it did not start that moment you were hurt odds are it's deeply rooted or more rooted than you're acknowledging so don't be afraid to do the work because that's the only way out of all of this madness so that's all i have for you guys today um if you liked this content do not forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel i love this conversation and i also want to open the floor to you guys um if there's a situation if there's a topic if something that you're struggling with if if there's anything you want advice on if whatever it may be and you kind of want the soulmates to kind of um, give you some support give you some words of encouragement give you some advice i am going to open my email for you guys to send me your experiences your questions your your whatever it is your story um and then i'm gonna share it on this platform and i'm gonna open the floor not only obviously to myself but to the soulmates as well to give you some encouragement to give you some support and to give you some advice um because that's what i want the space to be i want it to be a space where we encourage each other we uplift each other we're teaching one another we're learning um so if you have something that you're struggling with or have something that maybe you need a little assistance a little help a little support in then go ahead and shoot your girl an email i am clearing through my emails and i'm gonna be looking out for you guys' emails as well and then that way i'm able to be more consistent on this channel and be more of an assistance to you guys in whatever way that i can be i absolutely adore you all i hope you guys have a wonderful month stay tuned because i have some pretty amazing girls that i'm gonna be bringing on this channel that also has a lot to teach you guys and a lot that you guys could take from that's all have a wonderful day my lovely soulmates i'm gonna post my social medias now that i'm back on it so you guys can follow me on instagram tiktok twitter at underscore ali soul that's at underscore e-l-i-s-o-u-l I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next video.